you quantify when I should raise prices? Doesn't everybody know, want to know the answer to this question? So, um, yeah, there are a lot of factors that go into answering that question. So yes, it's possible, right? Quant you, can you can observe and measure the factors that go into when it's time to raise prices. Um, there are a lot of observable characteristics, but not necessarily quantifiable, but specific and observable. So it's really a mix of, of qualitative and quantitative on that. And I we think with the limited time we have left, I'm going to continue to answer that, but we should go delve into this more next week. Um, yeah, when it's time to raise prices, so first of all, you have to consider what's the definition of fair market value? And this killed me when I was in my MBA program at Rutgers. Um, you know, I, I had this made up idea that a price was a price and um, that that's what it was. I go in and pay whatever for a loaf of bread, like that's what it is. And prices rise over time and that bites. Or if you're selling, prices rise over time and good for you. Um, but I thought that there was some kind of a hard and fast way to figure out what something is worth. And what I learned, which really significantly shifted things for me, was there's no truth about how much something is worth except for one time. And that is the moment after a willing buyer and a willing seller have engaged in a transaction. In the moment after, you know what that product or service was worth a second ago. And that's it. After that, all bets are off. So all the factors that go in, you, know, you have the perception of value. Welcome, Jennifer. Welcome so much. Jennifer's tuning in from Rock Hill, South Carolina, where she's absolutely a stand for the quality of education um, that's offered to children. So thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. So, um, yeah, so when to raise prices. You look at the factors of a fair market value and also factor in perception and also factor in risk. What kind of risk profile um, does your product or service offer the marketplace? So the, the lower the risk, assuming that there's high value, then that drives up your prices. So if you have put things into place to lower risk, maybe you have more experience than you did a year ago. Maybe you've learned more. Maybe you've, you've put something into place in a financial arrangement to, like, to make it less risky, like you can, for the paying uh, party, like you can pay over the course of three months for this one-time service. Anything that makes it less risky can drive up the price. One of the most helpful techniques in raising prices is to offer options. So the customer gets to choose, well, this would be a higher price, but there's more value. Or, but it lowers my risk. And it, giving someone the opportunity to choose is always a very powerful act that an entrepreneur can engage in and can also to help you uh, raise your prices. Um, while you know, legitimately providing more value, whether it's peace of mind or additional services, etc.